All right, guys, Versus Z with a Marvel Universe uh, figures review. I'm reviewing three figures out of the Hammer Files. Uh, three of the older figures that uh, have been released probably not too long ago, but I just figured I'd review them. Um, just a quick note before I start the review. Um, this webcam, obviously, is not really... It uh, doesn't really, you know, as you can see, it doesn't really capture, like, super high quality, very good quality videos. So, um... Good news though, my sis my sister is coming back this weekend, so she's gonna bring the uh, HD camera that I used when I was experimenting uh, in the H when I was experimenting around with HD stuff a while ago. So she's gonna be able to bring that camera back. I'll be able to use it. I'll also be able to have it for WonderCon and FanimeCon. So um, and and I and I I figured that uh, if I'm gonna use a better cam or if I'm gonna do you know Gundam Mama reviews, I want to make them feel like they're the exclusives so of course exclusives would have to get better quality camera um so i'm waiting for that uh, but with that you know with that being said i you know i have not forgotten the you know my my role as a gundam reviewer it's it's, it's going to happen i'm just uh, really wanting to get the best out of it so um this 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 webcam has done its job um, I'm not saying it's crap. I'm not saying I'm gonna throw it away or whatever. I'm still gonna use it for stuff. It's just for Gundam model reviews. I really want to get as better as better quality as possible. Um, so with that being said, here's the review for, for uh, these guys. I'm reviewing House of M Spider-Man, uh, Extremist Armor Iron Man, and Luke Cage. They're once again they're all from the Hammer Files uh, series of the Marvel Universe um, lineup of toys. Um, Part of this is uh, highly uh, inspired by Primary 2's recent, uh, you know, delivery of Marvel Universe figures. So I figure I uh, uh, do my share, and uh, at the same time, I'm getting rid of some things that I was supposed to review for a while now. But anyway, I'm going to start with um, Luke Cage here. He's uh, number nine in the series. Uh, he's probably one of the uh, Luke Cage. How can I explain Luke Cage? He's he's a great figure. He really is a great figure. Uh, he's got his he's got a good amount of accessories. He's got all of his accessories on him, so you don't have any accessories uh, laying around somewhere unless you don't like uh, using these. Um, <coughs> excuse me. You don't like using these uh, uh, figure stands. They all have their own. Obviously, they all they all have their own unique accessories. They all have their own. Uh, named, uh, labeled uh, figure stands. Luke Cage being figure number nine in the Hammer Files series. But anyway, uh, he comes with three accessories uh, for in this one figure. Uh, by the way, they all they all I bought I all bought them for uh, six ninety nine at, at Walmart sometime last year or early last year when they when they were still a good price and it was it was I think right after the holidays or some sometime around there because uh, now they're like now they're like seven ninety nine so you know you can imagine what happened um, six ninety nine is a really good price for these guys uh, seven ninety nine is a little asking for it but you know if you could afford it why not uh, now eight ninety nine is you know that, I've I've seen them for eight ninety nine that that I think Toys R Us and I think that's a little that's a little asking too much for it but if if I see a figure that only Toys R Us has then Toys R Us it is anyway. Back to Luke Cage. Uh, the lighting is so horrible. I'm sorry, um, but yeah. Anyway, uh, his his tank top is black tank top, which you can't really see. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be racist here, but um, his black tank top is just painted onto the body. Um, you have some muscular detail, like muscular painted detail. Uh, the mu the muscle molded detail is is there too, and you also have. Uh, he's a pretty weathered up guy, paint wise. Um, accessories: he has this metal beam which fits into his right hand. Uh, it looks like the same metal beam that comes with, like that could that could come with a Hulk figure. Um, he has one open palm, one closed fist. He has a, a chain, a golden chain, soft rubber plastic. It says cage, um, and he also has a beanie that you can slip on or off. I prefer the beanie on though, because he just puts that extra badassness to him. Anyway, um, articulation is pretty basic. I'm gonna take everything off on him. Uh, ball jointed head, ball joint, uh, ball hinge shoulders, bicep swivel, elbow, uh, hinged elbow, rotatable wrist, ball jointed torso. Um, 
ball jointed hips, which are probably the point of articulation that kind of makes him suffer when it comes to poses. Uh, double jointed knee bend and the uh, hinged ankles don't really move up and down too much. They move left and right really, really loosely. Um, so decent articulation, very good, very nice, very stable. He's got a very stable stance. My only gripe about him is I want to get him into into dramatic poses, but it's all it's really almost impossible because of the way that uh, he has these huge fat hips. Like you can see that they stick out of his waistline just like that. So that's one of the uh, gripes I have about this figure. Um, I wish he had like a cut in his thighs or something like that, and that would that would, that would definitely help with this figure's posability. But aside from all that, it's a very decent figure. So you know, it's not it's it's a figure worth checking out if you don't have uh, this figure, especially if you're a fan of Luke Cage or if you're a Marvel Universe or Avengers completist. This it, it's a nice solid figure. So. Extremist Armor Iron Man. So this is for you Iron Man fans. Uh, stupid cone. It's the only thing he comes with aside from his Iron Man. Uh, I like to just call these things placards. Uh, but anyway, he's number seven in the series. Same basic articulation as Luke Cage, except he has the ball hinged, um, the ball hinged uh, neck, which is very, which is apparent in a lot of the Iron Man uh, two movie figures. Um, these these uh, plates here are separate, so they can move. So same articulation. You can see ball ball hinged elbows, bicep swivel, hinged elbow, rotatable wrists, ball jointed torso, ball jointed thighs. You have a cut at the thighs here, though. It's a little. It feels a little too loose on on the left leg. And for the right leg, it's okay. But for the left leg, it feels like you can just pull off. Which it can't pull off like like that, but it just I don't know I just I don't like that. Um, double jointed knee bend, it's not that great, and the ball or I wouldn't even say ball jointed um, ankles, but hinged ankles don't really move too much because of the protruding ankle armor there. Like you can kind of see that it it kind of pokes out like that. Uh, barely can move up and down, just barely. So uh, this this figure kind of suffers from you know not just a little over decent articulation it's it's cool the paint apps are great though like you can check it out very nice metallic paint apps very glossy looks really good uh, no paint app hiccup, hiccups here complete with foot detail uh, the one thing you gotta look out for with this figure though is um his arc light on the chest piece right there you can kind of yeah you can see it protrudes out uh, so look out for that. I wasn't really looking out for that at the time I was getting this figure. I was just too excited about it because um, I was I, I was reading the Extremist Armor comics and I was like, oh hey, Extremist Armor uh, figure. So I got it. I wasn't really looking out for that chest piece. It the, it does protrude out a lot, and depending on you know your figure, it, it either sits in very well or it just sticks out too far. Uh, same thing with the Iron Patriot. Uh, recoloring of this figure, which is you know the Iron Patriot recoloring, the mix of Iron Man and uh, Captain America, Norman Osborn's personal um, Iron Man suit, basically. And there's a star there, and same thing, it it kind of protrudes out, so you need to look out for that. That's probably one of the other gripes on the, on this figure that I would have and kind of warn you guys about. But other than that, it's pretty decent. Now. Personally, my favorite of the of these three, at least, um, is House of M Spider Man. Now, why is that? I mean, you've got you've got your countless normal molds and recolorings of the normal Spider Man. You got your, I think, two or three variants of the black suit Spider Man, not counting the one that's Venom. In the uh, Dark Avengers pack, comes with Wolverine Sun and uh, the uh, Venom. Uh, slimmer venom, um, but why is this one my favorite? I'm I still can't find an answer for that. But anyway, this figure has been reviewed by Primary Two very recently, so I'm not going to take take a lot of time talking about it. You guys know the articulation; it's the same articulation as any Spider-Man suit or any Spider-Man figure. It comes with this web thing, which comes with almost every, or maybe, yeah, almost every Spider-Man Marvel Universe figure. Almost every. Um, of course, he is the first in the um, Hammer Files, 
So, House of M Spider-Man, what makes him different from the rest? He still looks the same, right? Same colors. Uh, you got your dark blue, you got your red. Um, so what makes him different? Uh, it's the pattern, the chest pattern. Uh, the black spider that's normally present on his chest isn't there. I'm sorry, I can't really show you guys, but you know, lighting is bad and zoom quality sucks. Um, but you, you can see it's missing. What makes up the spider is just the red pattern, the, the webbing design pretty much makes up. Um, it's kind of a silhouette of a spider. The, the, the abdomen, which is right here, kind of forms and the legs go throughout the body. So it's it's still Spider-Man, but at the same time it's different. Um, not, not too different from the original design. Uh, he does come with one other accessory, and it's probably one of the coolest things I've seen on a Spider-Man figure. Um, a webbed backpack. Uh, you can see a shirt here, you can see a camera, you can see a single sneaker. <laughs> Looks, it looks like a, I think it's a red Converse or something. Um, but yeah, it slips on him. It slips on him pretty easily. I'm just not gonna waste a lot of time with that. But that's that's one of the cooler ones. And these these you know as stupid as they are, just just like on the same idea as these things. This works a little bit better than this. So you know this this will pass for me. And the one like I, I brought this up in my modular armor Iron Man review. The one gripe about Spider-Man figures in general is the fact that I can't pose him like a Spider-Man, you know, just with this. I sort of can, you know, with one leg kind of pinned onto the uh, on the post, and then I just kind of have him mid-air, and it it's worked a few times. It's it's okay. It's decent, but come on, now he's on the ground, so. I have to resort to using this guy, and only for the sake of the review, I, I use this for the first time, and man, it, it gives off, it doesn't matter what you put on these things, they make whatever you're putting on them just work, so guys, these help you a lot, if you're a posability freak like me. But anyway, articulation's the same, basic, ball joint head, ball hinge joints, sw uh, swivel, bicep, hinged elbow, wrist, ball jointed torso, ball jointed thighs or hips or whatever, double joint, knee bend, double joint knee bend, which is very nice, and then the basic ankles. Now this is where the rocker joints hopefully would want to come in on a Spider-Man figure soon. Uh, whatever, well, there are still a few more Spider-Man, different Spider-Man costumes they could work with, and I hope that they include the rocker joints, because that would really help with posing your Spider-Man on the ground. It's not needed. It's not something needed, but as as you know, as a fan of the Spider-Man mold, I think it'll definitely benefit from that, along with a lot of other uh, figures and future characters that hopefully they get to touch up on. So that's about it for my summary for this uh, for these three guys. Um, as I, I just as I just said, this this one is my favorite of the bunch. Uh, Luke Cage being second, and Extremist Iron Man being the least favorite, simply because of the fact that. It's just not all that great to me. Like, for some reason, it falls short of full Iron Man satisfaction. Um, stand still, he looks great. He's got great paint apps and all that. But for some reason, I find I find the uh, other universe Iron Man figure to, to have proved more satisfaction than this thing for some reason. I, I don't know. I just... I, I don't know what it is about this guy. Probably because of the loose leg. Probably because of the fact that I can't really pose him all that well. I don't know. I mean, he he aesthetically he looks good. The paint apps are they're eye catching. Like really, these are wonderful paint apps. But just as a figure to pose, it's just I don't know. He's just a standstill guy that that looks badass to me. Uh, Luke Cage, the same thing, but he could do a little bit more than this guy, which is the only reason why he's my least favorite of the bunch. But then again, whatever I think about these guys doesn't really matter. It's just my. Um, my summary, my thoughts on these figures. Like I said, personally, I like Spider-Man. Maybe you like Luke Cage better, maybe because you're Iron Man completist or just a fan of Iron Man, this could be better. Uh, but, you know, all in all, it really comes down to what you guys think. Personally, I think this one's the best. And just, just of the three, I'm not saying of the entire Hammer File series. There are plenty of figures in the Hammer File series that I... Sh still should be getting like uh, Thor. I still want to get my hands on Thor. Um, so, yeah, that's that's that. I hope you guys uh, got something out of this. And any of you guys who are curious, and uh, 
Yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys later.